In this video we're going to take a look at how we can find the area of a triangle given um, an angle measure and the lengths of the two sides on either side of it. If we remember the area of a triangle the basic formula for that is A equals one half base times height. Now remember that we need to find the height of a triangle if we don't know that. So in this case, if I look at this first one, the laws are the sine um, trigonometric function is going to allow me to find the height. So what I'm going to do is alter my formula that I have for the area of a triangle to include the sine because then what it's going to happen is it's going to find the height for me built right into the formula there and if we look at this one notice how the height would come down right here and I know that angle and this side so if I had a height coming down right here let me just draw a, a dotted line to show how that would happen and this would be a right triangle then I would have this side which is the opposite side this is the hypotenuse and remember that's what the sine is so that's really what's happening and we come up with the formula of um, this one half and the B stay the same so we have the area of the triangle equals one half times B which is going to be one of our sides here and then the other side multiplied by C times the sine of angle A. So what that's really doing for us is it's going to find what the height is built right into our formula. And then it finds the area of the triangle just like we know how to do. So let's take a look at this first one here. Again we're just going to go ahead and find that area and starts out the same as what we've done before with areas of triangles one half and then we've got two side lengths here because we want the side lengths that are on either side of the angle that we know that's the only way I can use this formula is if I know an angle and I know the side lengths on either side of that angle in this case I do so we have one half times fourteen times 9 and then times the sine of 85 degrees okay so then let's go ahead and just do this multiplication here 1 half times 14 would be 7 times 9 would be 63 so I have 63 times the sine of 85 degrees and I'll grab my calculator and figure out what that is figure out my sine of 85 multiply that by 63 times 63 and that gives me 62 and let's round to the nearest tenth so 62. Um, it's 76 so I'm gonna round to 62.8 and the um, units here we're finding area so remember that's gonna be in square units and we've got centimeters so it's going to be 62.8 centimeters squared that will be the area let's take a look at this one now in this one we know a couple angles but we don't know the angle that's between the two sides that we know so the first thing I need to do is find what that angle is well I can do that because I remember that all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I have 34 plus 48. That's going to give me um, 34 plus 48 would be um, 82. Then I'm going to subtract that from 180. So 180 minus 82, which is going to give me. 98. So now I know this angle measure is 98 degrees. Okay, now I can grab that formula. So we're going to have one half times, we've got our two sides there, 
12 times 9, and it doesn't matter which order, of course, that we do them in, times the sine of 98 degrees. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and do that multiplication. So 1 half times 12 would be 6 times 9 would be 54 times the sine of 98 degrees. Then grab my calculator, figure out what that is. Take my sine of 98 degrees first, and then I'll multiply by 54, and that's going to give me, and again I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, so I have 53.4744, so rounding to the nearest tenth would be 53.5, and in this one my units are in meters, so since it's an area it's going to be meters squared. Alright, so finding the area of a triangle using signs, what, we, what the formula does for us is it finds the height. So if we're given an angle measure and the two side lengths on either side of that angle, we can use this particular formula right here in order to find the area of that triangle. Hope this video was helpful. I know you'll do fantastic if you keep working hard on your math. Keep after it.